All of space and time exploded out of a tiny speck billions of years ago. And it's been expanding ever since. We know this as the Big Bang, and it explains a lot of why we see what we see when we look at the universe. But the Big Bang has a problem. The universe we see is too uniform. In the first instance of the Big Bang, some parts of the universe would have been hotter or colder than other parts. But today, everywhere we look, the universe is basically the same temperature. And that shouldn't really be possible. This is called the horizon problem, and we'll get to why it's called that in a minute. If two things are different temperatures and are in contact with each other, those things will balance out and end up with a temperature somewhere in the middle. Two parts of space will balance out if they can exchange energy with each other. They do that with photons, which move at the speed of light. But if space has been expanding for all the billions of years since the Big Bang, photons from one end of the universe have never been able to make it to the other end. Which means if you look east, you should see a different temperature than if you look west. Those parts should never have been able to balance out. They're beyond each other's horizons. And yet, they have the same temperature. The way physicists usually get around this is by saying maybe the universe is much, much bigger than the Big Bang says it should be. If in the early moments of the Big Bang, the universe inflated very rapidly so that the only parts we can see today are the parts that already had balanced out in temperature, then we'd see a universe that looks like the one we actually see. The problem with inflation is, why? We don't have a good reason for space and time to speed up and slow down like that. But there's another way to solve the horizon problem. Maybe our understanding of the speed of light is wrong. If the speed of light was faster in the early universe than it is today, far-flung reaches of space could have equalized with each other long ago, and we wouldn't need any inflation to explain what we see. Of course, everything we know about the speed of light says it's fixed and finite, and we don't have great evidence that it was any different in the past. But if we want to solve the horizon problem, we have a tough choice. Either the universe is much bigger than the Big Bang predicts, or the speed of light isn't what we thought it was.